So this is a tarot deck comparison video. And so this one is 18 plus decks and one that will most likely be considered an 18 plus deck. Um, so the decks are the Monera Erotic Tarot. Tarot of Sexual Magic, uh, Decameron Tarot, and Tarots of Casanova. All four decks are from Los Gabriel. So, and like, a, like with the first three, you can see more on like the black, this one's transitioning into red, kind of like less kind of color. And this is more on like historical kind of um, design. There we go. So now with the Monero Nera Tarot, You get, you're getting um, a flip image on the back, so whether you're it's upright or reverse, you're getting the same image on like the back. And each image has an element, so one water, uh, two earth, kind of. And a lot of it is suggestive or like really on the dark side of when it was being illustrated and the time that these image, images were created. So some of it might not be totally what is considered appropriate now. So. And so, and a lot of it is suggestive to the sexual slash like harmful kind of deal, like this one, like Arrow and She's Surprised. Um, But yeah, a lot of it in this is like suggestive and can't really be shown on a camera screen. So, yeah, but kind of got that image. And then. But the imagery is really detailed and I think it's like watercolor painting kind of aspect and it's really well done. So there's the Monero Tarot and then with Tarot of Sexual Magic again, this one a lot of the photos can't really be shown on public platform like YouTube. I like I can put the warnings on this. I'm not gonna show I'm not gonna I'm not outright gonna show or try my best not to show certain cards. But again, like the Monero Tarot, this one has the same image top and bottom. So whether you're doing reverse or upright, you have the same image. And again, like this one is more on the watercolor side. And like for this deck, a few, there are a few more cards that you can show on a video that's going to be uploaded on, again, YouTube. 
and but again there are some that no I'm not gonna outright show <laughs> and like with this one the colors are more brighter than the one in the Monero Tarot and you're getting a similar setup to what you would see in a general deck based off of the Raider White Tarot and like any other Los Gabriel deck, Monero, this one, all the other ones that aren't just um, 18 plus decks, you're getting like six different languages on the card and this one you're getting a border, a red border and you're getting a slight kind of almost shadow at the bottom here and like you're getting an image of the like this one's cups so you get an image of that and so And like there aren't, these aren't like 21st century imagery, imagery. you're kind of looking slightly older kind of images but still relatable kind of thing. Four Torn Lover, once that girl but that's dude, that dude's got her. But yeah, so it, this one, um, there, if you're comparing how dark the decks are, I guess, if you want to call it like that. This one is a little um, not as dark or as like violent in a way as the Monero tarot. So the Decameroon tarot, it's based off of um, this guy's work, um, a writing, so it explains it all in the well, not all of it, but it explains a little bit in here, so... And I think I went over, and I'm pretty sure I kind of read it a little bit all, out of it on my, my review for this video, um, this deck, so I'm not going to do it in this one. And in this one, you are getting kind of like... It's really really um to me more detailed than the other ones and again less not as many um images that one can show on a youtube video <laughs> than Tarot of Sexual Magic and the Monera. Uh, deck, and it almost seems like there's a few cards that a storyline is going off of. So. Yeah, like, I'm just trying to find... A video okay uh, no to compare um, you're not you kind of can tell like the figures are a little different on the background so you kind of can tell which ones going um, reverse and upright Okay, so, like, this one isn't as, like, bad. Okay, so for, like, the title of the card, it's on the edge here. So instead of being, like, here and down here, it's along the edge here, and you're getting a white border. And you are getting a square image for the minor cards and so 
okay this one isn't as bad but so so like for the minor cards you're getting this image with the so this one's swords so swords in the background wands would be up like here here and the pentacles and cups would be somewhere along the border here and you are getting this gray kind of grayish kind of color as the background for them and you are getting so the minor cards you're getting a different color uh, for the font than you are than you would for the major so you have that uh, difference so and like I said this one few and far between where you can actually show on a public video or as a reference point if you're not putting a warning out there like I, I'm pretty sure I've said quite a few times already and I likely will on the title of this video but there's that one and then um, Tarot of Ca Tarot of Casanova I'm going to go over this one in a in another video or likely have depending on which one of these comparison videos that I put up uh, first this one is more, more of a historical deck it is uh, So, yeah, so like right in the first thing is the erotic interpretation of it. And um, it goes into a little bit of Giacomo Casanova, uh, Venetian Republic, so in the 1700s. So this is erotic historical kind of <laughs> deck. And you are getting, again, no matter which way you flip it on the back side, you're getting the same image. So, uh, if you do upright and reversed dealings, the reader won't know if it is an upright or reverse. With the Dikmarin Tarot, you kind of can guess if you know what an upright card back looks like. So it's slightly different and again this one looks more um, watercolor as well and I just find people who can do watercolor like this well in like all four of these pretty sure all four of them were watercolor like I hands down to you because like I think watercolor is like a really good really nice if you can and then just trying to find you are getting the clothing styles and everything and so I think that's like the Italian wording for it and then then you get the other four languages there so and it just seems that except for like the court cards, the Minor Arcana isn't as part of the scene as it would for other Minor cards and other decks. And like with the Minor cards for a lot of like the other ones, they weren't totally part of the scene. Like, but you are getting kind of toned down kind of colors. It's not as vibrant as, color-wise, it's not as vibrant as the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic. You still get the color there, but it's not as vibrant and it's not as dark as the Monera Tarot. And so if you're going color-wise, like I would say uh, Tarot of Casanova, Tarot of Sexual Magic, De Cameroon and Monera. If you're going by, if you're wanting by color, 
kind of thing. And then, so, my laundry's, the laundry machine's gonna go, that's what you're hearing. But, but if you are looking for like a more historical, more visual, more pleasant view, Terrace of Casanova kind of outbeats like, say the Minera or the Cameroon Tarot. So, so that's uh, Tarot's of Casanova, and uh, and this one I did get used. I did. It's sticker still on. The other ones I'm pretty sure I got new. But I'll show the decks again at Taros of Casanova. DK Maroon. Tarot of Sexual Magic. And Monero. And once again, if I, I'm pretty sure I've said it a few times in this video, these are 18 plus adult kind of decks. So not for someone who's picking up a deck at the age of like 13, 14. <laughs> so no. <laughs> so those, that's my comparison video of the 18 plus decks that I do own. Happy readings.